I've been getting this question a lot recently. I've answered it a few times on live streams and privately via Instagram messages regarding why I no longer sell clothing or IKYG merchandise. Firstly, I want to give a big thank you to everyone that purchased. I really do. And a thank you to everyone that had the intentions and desire to. I appreciate y'all so much. Sadly, as with most things regarding the black community and businesses, we can't stay afloat with minimum numbers of customers. So I guess, let me start from the beginning. So in 2014, a lot of people asked me to make shirts. They would say things like, please put that on a shirt. So many people were saying it, and it became a regular thing. So I looked into it. Never in my life did I think it would be a problem, or even that it would come and bite me in the ass. The amount of hate I got and drama that came from simply giving people what they asked for really wasn't worth it. So I waited until 2015 to start making shirts, because I wanted to be different. I wanted to have everything done by me. I could have saved a lot of time and money by using one of those t-shirt websites. You know, where you upload your design and they do all the work. They deal with all the customer services and all the shipping, but of course they take their percentage and it's a big percentage. I think in some cases it would be a case of they would have their base price like $15 or $20 and then you can add on top what you want to charge to make some money. But I didn't want to do that because then it's not a black owned business. Because it's then a white-owned or an Asian-owned business, and you're just a middleman, really. So I searched for black printers. I found one, and I asked them to print all my designs on different items of clothing. They would source the clothing, and once it was delivered to them, they would print on it. I would go and collect the clothing, and then I would ship and deliver the items tracked and signed. We would email everyone with the tracking numbers and the website we use for shipping so they could track their item. So customer services was then either through me or one of my two admins. So it meant the clothing aspect was black owned. It was more personal. You knew you were going to get good customer services and you knew if needed or if anything went wrong, you could speak directly to me and not some website that doesn't care about you. After all, it was my name and my brand that was being associated with it. So I needed everything to be perfect. In the beginning, I started out with plain IKYG clothing what I called the original IKYG shirts. I ordered six different sizes and ordered 20 of each. So that's 120 shirts at first. And because I ordered so many, the printers gave me kind of a good deal. It meant that I would be able to make some money. But here's the funny part. I still have about 80 of those shirts left after three years, just under 67% of those shirts left. Crazy, right? So I actually lost money. But I also decided to make other slogans and put other designs on shirts. But of course, this time I thought smarter and I said, I'm not going to buy in bulk because I just knew I didn't have the support that I needed to do that. So I spoke to the printers and I said, look, I might not be able to order in bulk, but I can guarantee I'm going to order every week. It might not be huge numbers, but at least you'll have guaranteed repeat business from me. So they agreed and gave me a deal based on ordering every week. So this ran for three years. Now here's the false accusations part. All over the internet, people would claim that I'm making all this money from selling shirts and I'm only making these videos to sell merchandise. I was hearing this from literally everyone, black men, black women, white men, and white women. Everyone was assuming that I was somehow about to retire off of selling t-shirts. Okay then. I had the clothing Instagram page and on there I would post pictures of people wearing my clothing. But what a lot of people didn't know is a large majority of those pictures and the people modeling the clothing, those items were gifts. I would give people lots of freebies just so I could at least have pictures in return. I did that a lot. I thought it was a smart move because then I would have something to advertise, but it was just costing me money and I was getting nothing in return. People would like the picture, they would repost the pictures, but nobody would order. It got really irritating with people accusing me of somehow getting rich from t-shirts. The way I saw it was people asked for the clothing. They wanted it, so I supplied something that people wanted. What was wrong with that? Nothing in my eyes. It wasn't like I was asking for people to give me money for no reason. You were getting something in exchange. You go to the store and buy clothes, and you don't complain when you give some dead Italian dude your money. But God forbid you do the same for a black man or woman. So was I making lots of money or was I even making the money I spent back? The answer is no. So here's my report for all dates. As you can see, so this is from the beginning of 2015 till today, which is September 18th, 2018. It says 190 completed sales. 
It also says 101 canceled sales. So that's people that would start their orders and then never actually go through with it. And then it says one refunded. So if we say three years, which is 156 weeks, divide that by 190 sales, that's 1.2 sales a week. So just under five sales a month. Yeah, big pimping, eh? The next Bill Gates in the making. Hmm. Even with the Still Black Project, which was about unifying black people from different walks of life and designing your own customized Still Black shirts, I spent about $800 on that whole project. That was for the photographer, for all the models, the rental of the studio, for me to film and also take pictures and all the clothing that we gave to the models for free, as well as food and drinks for everyone on that day. I thought it would be such a big thing and it would do well and people would see how much of a good cause and project it was. And as a byproduct, people would want to support and buy a still black shirt. I sold four. Yes, four. So I lost a lot of money throughout this. I know, I know. I'm not a good businessman at all. I know. I can make videos, teach, educate, and uplift. That's something to be proud of. You heard the phrase, those that can't do, teach? Well, I guess that's me. So I didn't sell many at all. So I was getting all this hate and all these accusations literally for nothing. But this year, it got really bad. I really wasn't getting any orders at all. It became like one a month. And then in June, July, and August of this year, I had two sales, two for the whole three months. So I called the printers in August to make a personal order for myself. I wanted to make something special to give as a gift for an amazing black child that is doing so much in the black community as a thank you. So I called the printers and I was expecting the price to be as normal, but they had doubled the price that I normally pay. So I was like, huh? Like, what's going on here? And they said, look, Angel, in the beginning, you weren't getting many orders, but at least it was once a week. Now it's not even once a month. We can't give you the same rate and price we gave you before when you're ordering one item every two or three months. And to be honest, they were absolutely right. They're a business themselves, and it just isn't feasible to give me the price as if I'm ordering 10 items a week when I'm only ordering one every month. So I said, all right, that's fine. I paid the cost, and then I said, I don't think we can do business anymore and left it at that because the new prices they were giving me meant that I would actually be losing money. It would cost me money for you to order a shirt. Once I paid the shipping costs and even the travel costs to collect the items, I would be out of pocket. So I tried to reach out to other printers and it was the same story. I simply didn't have the right amount of minimum sales to get a good price. I refused to go on to one of those websites because I'm not giving them my money. I mean, that's completely counterproductive to buying black and spending black and then using some European or Asian website. So I decided to stop doing the shirts altogether. It's kind of a blessing in disguise because now all the haters and detractors don't have a leg to stand on. Oh, he's only doing this to make money and sell shirts. Well, actually, he's not. He doesn't sell shirts and he didn't really sell many at all in the three years anyway. I know some of you are upset because you wanted to get a shirt. But sadly, I can't run a business with the bare minimum of customers and supporters. But I do appreciate everyone that did purchase and support. I also appreciate everyone that had the intention to do so. And I know it can be frustrating to go to the website and see that there's no longer a shop part of the website. So just to clarify, I still advertise Black-owned businesses for free, and I'll continue to do so. Bear in mind, running the website costs me money, but I'm still advertising the businesses for free. So yeah. That's what happened. I'm sure some people will be happy to see that I wasn't making money. But you know what? It shows that even though I wasn't making money and I'm not making money, I still make the videos and I still go hard. Because it's not about the money and it's never been about the money. And some people have asked me, will the shirts return? Probably not. Because when it's all said and done, I don't think the community is ever really going to support me in that way. I guess I'm just not that guy. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new never before seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a black owned, black ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.